learn whatever he said. And the other day he referred to young girls as violent criminals, which is an outright lie. I heard with Senator the Hanson, who's got the glistening smile, say about a human being, there is a potential human being, but an acorn is not an oak tree. You don't go in the restaurant and say, I want scrambled chicken and ham. You say scrambled eggs and ham. So you make all these statements, and I've been around too long to forget what you all do all the rest of the time. If a child comes here and the mother is poor, and we try to provide additional aid, you all become moralistic and say she shouldn't have had the, and some of you use the term bastard. That's what you do. I see you. I've been here years. I've watched it. Senator Halloran up there with that nonsense, he was talking, trying to be All of you hypocritical men, you simple-minded women, make me ill. But I've seen it so much. Senator Slama, she's got a paper out there that lies on a woman, tells lies. Here's what they did, and I'm going to show it to you all. I can talk about anything because, as somebody said, no minds are going to be changed. I finally got a picture, a copy of that handout that the liars, Senator Slama, the governor, and the Republican Party put out. It is a picture of me and one of her opponent. There is a circle on each of us. On my circle, it says, the one who tried to sue God, not tried, I did. On her, they put the words, I agree with Ernie on this one. But Senator Slama lied when she put that on there because the World Herald or the Journal had a paragraph where she said, and this is her opponent, I agree with Ernie on this one, talking about the 30% raise given to Frakes, and she further said, I never got a 30% raise. Senator Slama knows her paper's a lie, and she's talking about women, all of this concern. Straighten up and fly right, Senator Slama. Pull that lying document that you're willing to use to try to get elected to this body where you can put on the hypocritical front. I would one of these days want to talk to Senator Geist about what I read about a doctor in Arkansas who, now in Arkansas is one of the worst prisons. The prisoners don't get any money. So this doctor decided that he could get a business started. He arranged with the prison system to let the convicts sell their there with the doctor, with the convict, and with the prison system. Then this doctor got greedy, and since many of the prisoners there were on drugs, they had an inclination toward hepatitis and a tendency toward AIDS, which he knew. He concealed it and continued to sell this blood. When the state authorities found out about what he was doing, they pulled any authority he had, but he still sold this blood internationally. He sold a lot of it to Canada and a lot of Canadians fell ill, and there was a front page article about what this vicious doctor had done. So he made quite a bit of money. There's been a request to place the House to call. The question is, shall the House going to call those in favor vote aye? Aye, those opposed vote nay.